Yes, you can. What's happening guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to gain weight, more specifically, how to gain muscle. If you clicked on this video, it's likely because you struggle to gain weight. The reason being, you have a higher BMR, meaning that your body burns through calories at a quicker rate than the average person. I really can relate to you guys. If you look what I used to look like, pretty skinny, First now, a little bit more muscle. I have to eat like it's my frigging job, mate. I have to eat so much food. So I do sympathize with you because it isn't nice having to eat loads of foods. But I'm going to go over today my five little hacks that will help you get more calories in to put you in a surplus of calories in order for you to gain some muscle. Okay, my first tip in order for you to get more calories in your diet is to use liquid calories. Research has shown that liquid calories is far easier to get into your body rather than digesting whole foods all the time. You can make a shake and have a, such a calorie dense shake that will help you hit your macro goals and calorie goals. So let's just go through a shake. We'll put the macros on the screen just to show you how much calories you can get into your diet. As well as these shakes helping to hit your calorie and macro goal, which is the point of this video, you can add ingredients in like blueberries, bananas, loads of fruits and stuff just to help get your vitamins into your diet. It's not just good for a body composition point of view, it's also good for health as well as long as you do it right. My second tip will be using oils. Oils are easy calories. In 50 ml of oil, you can get over 400 calories. You're not even gonna notice it going into your body. People get put off by using oils because they are full of fats. Fats aren't bad. Don't get dietary fats and body fat mixed up. Two different things. Fats are a vital macronutrient that your body needs, so don't avoid them. Per one gram of fat is nine calories. In comparison to carbs and protein, it's only four calories. So if you need to add some more calories in your diet, don't be scared of upping your fat intake by using oils. Okay, tip number three will be eating in a larger window. If you eat when you first wake up, it's gonna kickstart your appetite, it's a weird thing. If you wait longer in the day, your body can kind of adapt and it feels like you don't even need any food, pretty strange. But if you eat as soon as you wake up, say 7 a.m. and then you eat till 6 p.m., you gave yourself 11 hours then to eat, you've largened that, you've largened that, you've largened that. Large is that word? You've made that window big, you've made it 11 hours long. Whereas if you eat at say, 10 a.m. and finish eating at 6 p.m. you've made that window shorter. The key is make that window as big as you can so you can, in order for you to get as many calories in as possible. Okay my fourth tip is something that I was once guilty of and that's just trying to eat clean all the time. If you're on such high calories it's so hard to get that many calories from eating clean all the time. Don't stress about eating a pizza just to hit your macro goals. If 80% of your diet is good and 20% of your diet is bad don't worry about that. It's all about hitting your macros as long as you're getting your micronutrients into your diet all your healthy foods in and you don't need to stress about having a treat to hit your macros. I'm a big believer in that if it fits your macro Pros approach and flexible diet and if that's more sustainable for you to hit your calories then do that don't think you've got to have chicken rice and broccoli every meal because in reality that really isn't the case there isn't like a bad food what is going to make you fat is eating in a surplus of calories so if you're eating so your maintenance is here and you're eating here you're going to get fat but if you're eating here and you're having a pizza but you're still here you're not going to gain any weight it's, it's energy balance but yeah just don't stress over eating foods that you think aren't healthy my fifth and final tip of the video is be an absolute nutter are you ready Yes, eat nuts. Do you get it? Nutter, nuts. Do you get the joke? Nuts are dense in calories. Nuts are something you want to snack on in between meals. You can have a handful of nuts and that is going to provide a lot of calories. I think for 30 grams of nuts, it's probably around just under 200 calories. So if you add a couple of handfuls of that a day, it's soon going to bump up your calories for the day. Again, yes, nuts do have fats in, but they are not bad. We've already gone over that, so we don't have to talk about it again. Obviously, they taste good. Well, that's subjective, depends if you like nuts or not. They're going to help you from a health point of view as well. They've got micronutrients in there. Depending on which nuts you have, they will have different micronutrients. So yeah, have some nuts, be an absolute nutter. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Just to summarize, you just need to eat more. It sucks, but you gotta do it. If you take these five things on board and implement them in your own diet, it's gonna make it a lot easier. So follow these and you're gonna make some gains. Just think when you're dieting down, you've never gonna drop your calories that low to get lean. So it's pretty cool. That's the way I look at it. So if you like the video, remember to like the video. It'll take you two seconds to do it and it'll help me out a lot. And obviously if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, remember to do that. But yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate your views and I'll see you all on the next one. See you later.